Sunshine, I'm Grammy Vulture, and this is Grandpa. Welcome to the channel! I sure do love it when Grandpa can be in the picture with me. I love to cook here, and I love to be crafty here, and sometimes I just like to talk about stuff. Sometimes Max and Sam get in the picture too. I love these little guys. Welcome back or welcome here. How you doing? I'm Grammy Vulture. Today I'm going to make the Chinese Zodiac Tiger Plushy Pillow. I'm super excited to be bringing this to you. Let's get started and do the pattern. Oh, I have the pig and the ox. <laughs> Great timing, Max. Silly. I have the pig and the ox. As you can see, and uh, there's some more around here somewhere. I think this one I want square. Paper is exactly a foot. I'm going to round the corners and just marking it so that I can pretty much square it off. Just inside both lines. That's gonna be it. The top of our pillow, or top and bottom. Have I mentioned that I want my eyes to be made out of felt? Tigers kind of have stripes on their head. Oh, remember, fold it. From here to here to here. It's all going to be seam allowance. Right, of course. When we cut these out, they're going to be open up and make a big stripe across the forehead. Tiger so nose. Then they have their new face. Ah, where's my lines? Let's go over this marker so we know which ones we're doing. So this will be the mouth, the eyes. Maybe there's some lashes. Look at me getting brave and drawing with the pen. Okay, and some more stripes. Remember, we're gonna have to cut felt pieces. Maybe like that. Maybe a longer stripe on the head. I'll show you what they look like when they're cut out. Where does the time go? Hmm, what color do we want our tiger? Let's see how much felt I have. Last piece to cut out is this piece itself, top and bottom. So, here it is. Before sewing it together. No. Yeah. Oh, here's orange. I gotta put this up and get something to eat, and I will be sewing this together tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. It's a new day. It's tomorrow, or actually it's today, because there is no tomorrow. And I'm going to get my crafty on. I started by stitching center top and center bottom. The rest I can arrange as I go. I don't have enough space. I had to take the mule part of the mouth, make it smaller, but I can still put it there, because the bigger one would not fit. Our nose will be here. That's much better. So look in. You can see him, but he can't see you. <sighs> Lashes up, lashes down. I really like this one better. Low again. It is day three. Just had a revelation. Use black thread. Since I have to do some um, little freckles on the cheeks, I'm actually going to use a different color thread other than red for this project. <laughs> I think it'll really, really bring it out. I took the side and made it into separate curves for around the eye and the jowl. This is final placement. Sometimes I get so passionate about something I'm doing, I forget to press record. I'm just putting that little mule mark just under the nose. I'm free sewing without my presser foot. I do not recommend this. I can actually turn the dial and do this myself. And I'm going to get that one, one more time. I'm just on the other side of it. Let me show you what I was doing. Probably not perfect. But you know what? I think it looks adorable. This would be the freckles where the whiskers would be on the tiger. So I'm just putting the needle in and out like five or six times. Okay, maybe... Maybe eight times. See, and there's a little freckle. Oh, you zoomed in. There we go. Maybe you can see a little better there. So I'm gonna put a couple more. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was getting into. <laughs> All right, I am ready to sew it together. I have the ears in. I am not putting a band on this pillow. This fabric, you can see that the fabric is built with the lines this way and on this side. I have them in the opposite direction so that if there's any pull, pillow won't stretch out. I'm gonna sew all the way around and stop right there so I can turn it and stuff it. Focus on the positive, like I finished. Let's see. There it is, yay! Oh no. I'm going to turn it slowly. I need a big reveal. Bam! Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I 
definitely need to go stuff this pillow. We'll be right back. The last and 12th Zodiac plushie pillow is the tiger. I stitched little freckles and the little mew it has tiger stripes and they're not straight. Yeah. Tiger stripes aren't always straight. The long pieces that I was going to put around the jowl were too long and too wide. So I took the ones from around the eyes, moved them down because it kind of cupped better there. I maybe should have put this stripe in. This one got taken out. But I didn't want him to look like a football player. <laughs> I don't know. I did not sew the eyes down all the way, and I think that's a really good element. Smile. 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 <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the 12 Zodiac plushy pillows or plushies, whichever ones. I really did. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. My original Zodiac inspiration were my first 12 subscribers. And I know they weren't all family. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I really love you all. I love my plushies too. <sighs> and that concludes the 12 Zodiac Animal Plushies by Granny Vulture. Uh, maybe I'll do a highlight video and put in like, here they are, all 12 in one video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Gotta go, see you later, love you, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're still here, thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you, sunshine. Gotta go. See you later. Love you. Bye.